from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. I know my child, she's still learning about cash. Whenever she goes, she gets all flustered when she gets the change and trying to stuff it back in her wallet. I think a debit card is probably an easier way to go. You get to eliminate all of that stress that goes along with it. We are not dealing with a stressful forecast, that's for sure. Instead, we actually have our temperatures fairly seasonal and mild. We'll notice mostly cloudy skies now that rain has gone away. However, there are a few systems that we are watching this week that is going to lead to maybe the chance of some snowfall. Right now, when we take a look on outside, we're noticing just overcast skies. Nothing too bad for us, right? We saw a little bit of rain earlier today. That is long gone. Fog is being reported out toward Westminster and Stevensville, where it's now at around seven miles. However, we could see things turn maybe close to about one mile of visibility, but it will be overnight. I think by the time we get to 4 a.m., the fog will be long gone. Temperatures in Parkton, you're looking at 34 degrees. That's the same number out through Bel Air. Essex is also sitting at about 37 and into the Inner Harbor. So temperatures over the evening are actually rolling in about five degrees warmer than normal for us, although we are anticipating a seasonal Tuesday, really seasonal week on tap. Right on not picking up anything just quite yet but remember we are watching those two systems in our forecast this week we had a low pressure system work our way through the area today that is out of here and in its place we are dealing with our winds on the back side of it so out of the northwest that's going to keep us seasonal into the 40s however we are going to continue with the cloudy skies We'll see peaks of sunshine tomorrow, but really noticing mostly cloudy skies for us. They should be dry until Tuesday. This is the day we actually have a trough in place, which just means a bit of energy is going to be allowed to rotate on through. Now, computer models may vary between a zero and 30% chance that it actually Actually is able to accumulate into precipitation for us. So right now I'll go with a 20% chance we could see snow because it will be cool enough in the morning hours. However, most of us will stay dry. Let's break it down to hour by hour in your future cast. There's those mostly cloudy skies I was talking about for you on your Monday. It is Tuesday. We pause it here at 7 a.m. Look at the green and the blue. It is very sporadic, spreading out over uh, toward the PA border, even out towards Severn, possibly hitting Annapolis. The shading in blue will be the snowfall. If we see anything we're really talking about a dusting not really going to accumulate in much by 8 a.m then over seven and then once we get to about 11 o'clock it's out of here and we're just going to continue with the mostly cloudy skies a few breaks of sunshine for us getting more sun though on into our wednesday and thursday and then watch this as we broaden things out for you look what happens on friday almost the entire state covered in blue snowfall yet again in our forecast for a 30% chance, although also noticing some green. So really anticipating more of a wet snow, rain mix uh, precipitation to come on down yet again, not really looking at anything to accumulate much, at least as of now. So for tomorrow, before we get any of these snowy storms in place for us, and I say snowy, but they are very weak. We're talking about you look up and you might see a few flurries and that's it. 9 a.m., 36 degrees. By 11 o'clock, you're at 41, and now we're seasonal for you at 1 o'clock into the mid 40s. Seven day forecast 45 tomorrow. Tuesday we go for 44th isolated snow chance. Wednesday and Thursday that's the day we see more sunshine, but we're still seasonal. And then Friday we get that second system on down to bring us that rain snow mix. It will also be fairly breezy. We're watching what happens for the weekend because there's another system that might arrive for us and might not. So still needing some time to. I'd say figure out exactly the precipitation chances for the weekend, but right now going for the low 40s. That's a look at your seven day forecast. Have a great night.